Hello everybody, this is Bino. Um, today what I wanted to talk about and perform a little on is a uh, double crotch technique. It's a technique that I learned from uh, one of the first guys who trained me, a guy named Peter Noble. Um, and it's a, it's a thing that you wouldn't use um, very often in a tree. It's more like on a far, far reach and you're kind of nervous. Anyhow, I want to try to do that with the old fashioned way MRS system. And I want to give it a try with the new SRS system. Never, never done it before, but I want to give it a try. Okay, so um, with for this point right here, we, we got to use our imagination. I'm going to say that like this is like my final tie-in on this side here. And it's really low, but just say it's my final tie-in. And I'm in a super tall tree. And there's a long, long branch that I've got to walk out on. It doesn't have any side branches. So that's where this kind of technique would probably be pretty cool. So I'm supposed to be walking on a branch and this is supposed to be connected to the branch that I'm going to walk out to. But, you know, I'm afraid that I, I'm going to swing back or, or something. So anyhow, what in the old way with the MRS system, you'd have your first setup here. So this is just a Blake's with a, a carabiner and a pulley. So now the idea is that I'm going to try to walk out that way. It's kind of like a just a super long lanyard using a secondary rope. So then to, what I would do is I would just work my way out. And you know, what you're gonna be tied to would have been something pretty substantial, not just a tiny little twig. And then as I go, every, every inch out I go or a foot or whatever, I'm gonna maneuver my rope. So it's like an added stability, right? So you can get to the point where you're gonna to get to without worrying about falling. So now if it was a, a long, long branch, I would work my way up to the point where I can secure in with a lanyard. I would do my work. And then when I'm coming back, it would be the same kind of process. I pull this a little. And then with my first line, I would like take the slack out as I go. And you know, when I'm at to a point where I felt comfortable, I could just, you know, just swing back to it. So that's kind of like how it would work with an MRS system. Now I haven't really used it with an SRS system and I thought I'd just give it a try. Um, instead of using a secondary rope, I think I would just try to use the tail end of it. All right, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so um, now I've got my, my SRS line set up and it's got a final tie-in. So um, what I'm gonna do is work my way up to the, you know, to where, I've, where I'm gonna get ready to walk out on a branch. And I've already had the line kind of like, are the, um, it's not really set up, but I had a shot bag and I put it over the branch that I'm gonna walk out to. We'll just say it's like a far branch. It's not really that far, but just for the sake of the video. Um, I would, if, if I didn't have a, a shot bag or if I had a ground man, it would be easy because then I would just throw my line over the branch and then I'd have the ground man get it to me. Um, I just need the bottom or the tail end. So, but anyways, in this situation, we're gonna try to do it this way. I'm gonna get up to this point, I'll get that ball, tie it to the end of my line, I'll feed it over that branch, bring it back to me, I'll connect that end to my, my saddle. I'm gonna use a, a Swabish uh, friction hitch and a carabiner and a pulley and set it up and see how it goes with me using that double crotching method. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is grab these two lines here now, if I had a ground man, I probably wouldn't even need these. But for now, I'm just gonna bring them up to me. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand real quick so I can be in a better position. Oops. All right, there you go. All right, good. So, let me get in a, an even better spot. Hang on. Try not to drop my my shot bag here. Let's see, wet line goes where. Okay, let me go back this way. Okay. 
All right. So this blue part, this blue bag here is going to be the end that I'm going to uh, set my uh, climbing line on. Let me see. I'm gonna set that here. I don't want to lose track of that. And now I'm going to pull the other end of my line from the ground. Because I need, in order to get the rope over the branch, I'm going to connect it to that uh, shot bag there. Okay, so I put the carabiner inside the end of my line here. And now what I'm going to do is um, connect it to the ball. Now with this other end, I'm just going to pull it, pull it through. Hopefully it, it works the way I had planned it to do. Let me see, get this kind of tight. It looks kind of twisted. Maybe it's not, hang on. All right, all right, here we go. All right, okay, so now I'm gonna let it go. Try to pull it through. All right. There it go. Okay. So now that I've got it back to me, I'm going to use this carabiner. I'm going to drop the ball. All right. Okay. Hopefully it's not. I'm going to use this carabiner connect to my saddle. I'll connect it to the center point here. Okay, so now that I got my rope over the limb over there, I'm gonna um, use a, a sway bish to connect to myself. So this is a line that I brought over the crotch and then this is gonna be the, the end that runs. So I'm gonna put a, a sway bish on this side here. So this, this, this cord that I have, it kind of runs if I don't use maybe the sway bish. It's, a, it's one that pretty, it sticks pretty good with this one. So. Running and I'm going out. So, and and remember, we're imagining that that's kind of a far, far walk. <laughs> Not really, but for the sake of the video here. So now, what I'm going to do is connect the carabiner with a pulley, just like I was going to do a regular climb. Except for now, it's kind of like a just a super long lanyard is what it is. Okay, now I'm set up there. Let me unclip this. this. I just had this one so I wouldn't lose my rope. Unhook this. Oops, <laughs> I'll lose it right now if I don't connect it though. Hang on, I gotta connect it to, to my belt here. I'm gonna connect it to the ring in the same spot the other one is. Okay, so now that would be just like I'm, I'm climbing. Um, let's see if my sway bish works. That doesn't want to work here. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. All right. Yeah. Now that's gonna hold. Okay. So now I'm gonna disconnect my lanyard. I'll get my gloves ready. I'm just gonna go down to that branch over there. Excuse me. Hang on, let me situate mine better. There. Okay. Put my gloves on. So now, I'll just use this line, kind of like a, just a big lanyard. 
and I'll walk every time I take a step. I'll just walk out. Okay. Oops. Get that out of my way. Give a little bit of slack on this one. And then I would continue to walk out. And now So the idea is that I wouldn't be able to, to fall out in an angle and if it was a, a real long, long branch that I could go all the way out, out to the end. Um, seems like it might work if I had an SRS system and I had to go far to go and with the double or the MRS side if I went upward. Um, I'm thinking though if, if it was a branch that went downward it would be a little bit more difficult with the SRS system to go back upward. On this branch it'll probably work fine because um, all I'm going to be doing is uh, just uh, um, going downward and not upward. So yeah, I think it would kind of work if I, I had to do it. Okay. Let's see. And then to go back, you just kind of Maneuver your line. Just kind of walk back. Hmm. Yeah, I think that if it was a super long branch and I was really nervous if there was no side branches and it was an upward growing branch it would be something that would be good to have in your toolbox you know probably not something you would use every day alrighty so okay I think that um, you know the double crotching technique with the MRS system you know that was it was always okay to use and I, I honestly only would have used it a handful or I did use it a handful of times you know it's it's a you'd use it on something where you can't get a lift truck and you got to go to the end of branches that are just so far out don't have any side branches and maybe kind of flimsy so uh, the occasions that I did use it it worked great um, on the MRS system um, if you had to use it with a SRS system I think it would probably work um, but like I mentioned that if you had to go downward and pull yourself up with the SRS part you need some kind of a mechanical advantage or be able to do it with the foot ascender connected to your, to your chest um, overall, um, I think it could work if you really needed to do it. And like I said, it's probably something that you're not going to use all the time. Maybe just on certain occasions where you have a tree that's really long, long branches and you really can't get any equipment too. So I, I think it'd be a good idea to have in your toolbox. Okay, so that was a double crotching technique using the MRS system and an SRS system. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys have anybody out there has done this in the past, use the double crotching technique, um, please make a comment in the comment section. Or if there's any other technique that you used, I'd be great, great to hear it. If you'd share it, that'd be great. Um, also, I've got an Instagram, Bino H Climbing. I post some of the work that happens, you know, where I work, some tree, um, like sometimes rigging or, or trimming and removal, that kind of stuff. Um, also, I hope you guys like the video. Like and subscribe. All right, take care.